<laughs> in Urobo language, there's, there's a statement that says, Opetu Bession, Opetu Bession, that sometimes it's difficult to run away from trouble. I did a video, did a video before this one about the 21 day climbing of Mount Olives and prevention of prostate cancer. Now, after I heard that woman say that on, on Facebook, I started reflecting, even the man that said on television, 21 days in, in a month, <laughs> uh, 21 days in a month with this expensive food situation, 21 days. <laughs> Then they chop first. So. <laughs> then they, person they chop before he climb Mount Olives. So. <laughs> person they chop before he swim for Bermuda Triangle. You, where will you get food for twenty one days Mount Olives climbing? You know, you know the energy involved. <laughs> twenty one days. Somebody, a man that lives near me. He has three wives, and uh, I asked him. I said, you. You have so much energy to be able to go to Jerusalem with different airports. And he said that uh, there is a route that he pours um, well, schnapp or whatever or alcohol into that he drinks. And that his father showed him the, medica the native medication. And that that's what he takes. Then he now said that he will do it for me. I told him, please. I have only one airport. I have only only one airport. And that's where I passed to Jerusalem. I have only one pathway to my Mount Olives. And I have only one beach to swim in my Bermuda Triangle. If I am rejected, if the airport does not allow me to fly, where will I go to? After drinking your stimulant, I told him, I don't want because it's not every time that the airport is open not every time sometimes if your pocket and your wallet is not open the airport might not open <laughs> uh, romance and finance they go together so uh, as if you're a troublesome man like me if you cause problems at home and madame shuts the airport where will you fly so now this 21 days uh regular flight to jerusalem or frequency of climbing mount olives or diving into bermuda triangle people don't understand issues i will make a post like this they won't even finish listening to the post they will just jump to conclusions and start abusing me some people went to teach family planning in, uh, in Southeast Asia. And to be modest, they were now using their tongue. The women will wear the condom on the tongue. They say this is how to wear it when you want to sleep with your wife. Then if you sleep with your wife, she won't get pregnant. After you finish, you pull it. <laughs> those, those health workers came back after two years to evaluate the efficacy of their work, they found out that there were more children. What happened? The men who were listening, or the women listening, they got home, they took the condom, put in their tongues, and had flesh-to-flesh -flesh contact, and pregnancy rate increased. Another group said, okay, that one, they didn't demonstrate it well. They now carved um, a stick to represent the male genitalia. And then they wore condom on top of the stick. This is how you do it when you want to sleep with your husband. They want this. Then when they finish, when you finish, you pull it to throw it away. They came back again and found out that the pregnancy rate had increased. What did the women do? They went and carved stick. The men carved stick in the shape of the male genitalia. Some just wore only one condom on it and put it by the bedside. And they were going to Jerusalem regularly, going to pilgrimage, swimming in the Bermuda Triangle, climbing Mount Olives anyhow.
with gliders and pregnancy rate increases. This one that they have come up with 21 day regime of constant climbing. If Madame does not agree to open the gate to Mount Olives or closes the Bermuda Triangle or refuses to open the airport, is it not that men will start going to look for other airports that are open to fly? Other mountains that are open to climb? People will now have a license for promiscuity. And they will now have a license to even marry a second wife. And uh, <laughs> the quarrels that will come, eh, the quarrels that will come, you want to kill me. You don't want me to go to Jerusalem. You don't want me to swim in the Bermuda Triangle. I don't. I need mountaineering. And if I die of prostate cancer, I will hold you responsible. <laughs> There's fire on the mountain. Let's quench it now. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Abuki. Funny but serious. God bless you.